Today I'm doing a review on a Peterbilt 357 dump truck, yellow with the East dump trailer. Mm -hmm. I got this yesterday uh, from DHS. It was a, one of the deal of the days. Here. Um, it's a very nice model. There's the engine in there. Um, it's got a good dump height. Dump height. That's that. I think that's a pretty good dump. Hold on, let me. Uh, okay. Sorry, I had to adjust my tripod here. But that's a pretty good dump height there. Um, the tailgate opens. Um, on the tailgate, the tailgate is really nice. It's got the coal chute, some chains, places to hook straps to for like a cover. Um, they op it opens like this, or it swings like this, which I'll show that to you here in a minute. And then. Um, below these there's these little tailgate locks, like they're right there. That you, there, this is like a real truck. You lock the, the hand locks in, and then you flip those down to lock them, like the air. Um, it's got east, the east flaps on it. Under, the underside of the model is real nice. The lift axle, the tires kind of wobble, but it ain't that big of a deal. It's got all the tires, I mean the air lines and everything running. The rear ends and stuff right there. Um, the drive shafts. Then when you come up here, you got your transfer case and your and the transmission right here. Right there. Um... When you lift this up, that's a cylinder. It's real nice. There's some more little mud flops or rubber. Um, down through there, they have uh, it has lines around. You can see some top of the rear ends and stuff. Um, and then right down here, I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not, but right there, it's got the safety. So the dump bed don't close on you if you're maintenance, 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 ma I can't say that, but you know what I mean, working on it or whatever, so don't close, which is a nice feature, and down the side it's got reflective tape, a ladder, ladders to look up at the, in the bed, um, the cab, it's got air horns on it, there's two different kinds, the ones with the round on it, or the, uh, uh, square ones. Um, in this bag are the mirrors, the mirrors that you can put on. Here are all the straps. Just itch. And then, I don't know why this happened. I guess it doesn't glue down. Which, this is one thing I did not like about this model. That, right, that... The cab, like the the seat, the passenger seat, fell out of it. So I don't know. Another thing on this model that's not the nicest is when you turn the tires all the way to one side and like drive with it, the hood pops up. Same thing with turning it to the other side. From everybody I've heard, all the Peter, all the Peterbilts do this. So, and in here are the extra air horns and some pins and the battery box cover. Um, these are like the sideboards that are the to part of the cover. Hold on, I'm not 
remember it. I don't know. Um, I have to finish putting these on here. Here, I'm gonna I'll stop this and then. Because it takes me a minute to put this on. And then I'll I'll show you. Okay. Um I just put the uh um ribs on the uh trailer to hold the cover there. Right there. And okay. Okay. Um here's the here it is with the tarp on it. Um, that's how it looks with the tarp on it here. Hold on. Hold on, let me get this in here. It's a pain in the butt. But, it's a nice model with all the detail on it. Now, I'm not going to put those bungee cords on because that's, that, that'll take me 35 minutes. And I'm not really interested in that. Now this is the crank here, but uh, it comes off, but it goes right on. It's not that big of a deal. It came off, but let me just pull this off. Okay. And then this is goes right on here like this. Like oh, this thing. But you get the idea. Um I mean I'm never gonna use it with the tarp on it because I'll be mostly using it for a dump truck, and, uh, so, and anything that you will see this model, it'll probably be like that, but I'm just showing you what all it does in case you want, or you're thinking about buying it or something, so overall it's a very nice model. If I were to get, the only reason I got it in yellow is because it was on sale. If it wasn't on sale and I bought one, it'd probably be in red. And really, one of the reasons I bought it is because I can't really pass up a price like that. So, yeah. But, thank you.